I'm Everton Tactical and today we're going to be taking a look at the Tasmanian Tiger Warrior Battle Belt and the Tasmanian Tiger Velcro Inner Equipment Belt. The Tasmanian Tiger Warrior Laser Cut Belt is built from 500D Cordura with the laser cut molly. Has tapered front sections so then when you sit down or kneel it does not cut into your legs. Has an adjustable length, comes in various sizes and is designed to work with the Tasmanian Tiger Equipment Inner Belt. So let us have a look at the Warrior belt first. So it's made from awesome Cordura, which is really nice and strong, and it has this laser cut molly that you can see here. Now this makes it really nice. It's also been cut for adjustability. It's really nice, it's really lightweight and very strong. At the front, we've got this very simple click-in buckle. Really strong and sturdy, nice and hard wearing. Now, when you put it on and adjust it, you just feed the straps back inside the belt. Now it is really nice, when it's on it does hold very well, really nice and securely and it's actually really quite comfy. They've even got cut in the front here, little inserts so when you're wearing it and you bend down to sit, your legs aren't dug into by the bottom, they've got a nice little bit of space and respite. We've also got the little straps there if you want to put anything through, which is quite a handy little feature. Now. They are lightweight as I said, there is no padding in them so to speak, but they do fit really comfortably. They're really nice and flexible as you see here, they scrunch a bit, but when they're actually on and in use they hold very well. Now there are two sizes, you can get the large size like this or you can get the smaller size like this. So depending on what size you are depends on what length you're going to want. But it is quite helpful because it means that you can have a belt like this which will fit a bigger chap like me and for those smaller of you there is a smaller belt for you as well which is really helpful. Now there is a cool little feature and it's also why we're also looking at the Tasmanian Tiger equipment belt. Now the Tasmanian Tiger inner equipment belt is velcro as you can see here and that's how it closed. It's actually a really good belt, I use one for keeping my trousers up and it does a really nice job, you know, set it to your length, velcro on, holds really good for a day of airsofting. However, there's also a second use. Now if we have a look inside the warrior belts, we've got these little padded strips. Now when these are on, these afford additional grip to you which is really good for keeping it on. Now, it's very useful, as I said, having these additional grips. It does do a very good job. However, if you want even more stability, pull them off and you see the hook part of the retro system. So, take it off and you get this. And the idea behind this is, and the reason why we have our dummy, Tactical Terry, it's so you can then attach it to the inner equipment belt like so, wrap it around and you secure it on. Now, this demonstrates how big the large one is. Our dummy is actually quite a normal person size and this is quite big. So let's take it off quickly and we will put on a small one as well. And then I'm going to give a quick demonstration of another, why these are so helpful. Now, when you've got this on the inner equipment belt, it does mean that you have extra stability. Not only extra stability for keeping your battle belt in place with all your kit on it, but it also applies additional stability to keeping your trousers and everything in place. There we go. So, so once it's on, set our straps really nicely. Right, make sure they're nice and taut in place. Same for this side. Now these are really thick straps so you don't have too much worry about, you know, is it going to get damaged? Are they going to wear through easily? Does they hold on really well? So there you go, so now it's on, and this provides two things. Now if you've got the inner belt set correctly, should be nice and tight, should be doing a really good job of staying in place. And then all you have to worry about is making sure this is on nice and tight as well, and then you've got good stability. As you can see here, I'm giving it a good pull. Now this dummy's plastic of course, so it's obviously less grippy than skin, but you can see I can't really pull down the trousers off them, you know, come up if I want, but I'm not getting these down any further. It's keeping the battle belt nice and stable and in place and really secure, which is a really good feature of this system. And it's what I think makes it a very good battle belt to have for airsoft or for real world use. The laser cut molly, it's very good. The stability on here is really nice. You know, it's not even moving around. Poor dummy is though. And it just does a really good job. And it's still quite comfortable. This belt gives you, the inner equipment belt gives you a little extra padding as well, away from 
the battle belt so it keeps it slightly away from your body and which makes it really useful. So I do hope you found this helpful. I do hope this is something you're going to look at and you think, yep, yeah, definitely what I want when you're looking for a battle belt. Thank you for watching.